What's up YouTube, my name is Siebes, this is Soda, and welcome to the Slayer Drop Lock Group Iron Man series. In this series, we take on the challenge of only using drops that are given from Slayer tasks. Feel free to pause the video now to see the full list of rules and restrictions. In the previous episode, mostly due to Soda, I upgraded almost all my gear and I got my total level up to 219. My goal for this video was to unlock overhead prayers so I could start doing harder Slayer tasks, so be sure to watch till the end to see if I reach the goal. At the end of the last episode, I ended up getting a Greater Demons task from Crystillia, which I'm definitely going to skip, so I'll see you over at Turiel. I ended up getting a Spider's task from Turiel, which wasn't that bad. But before that, I went over to the rock and got some agility levels to reduce my run energy replenish time. Alright, there's 40 agility. I'm going to stop there because Canifus is the next course at level 40, so I'll pick it back up once I complete Priest and Peril. After that, I completed my Spider's task in the Wilderness, and then got a Zombie's task from Crystillia, which was a good task for the Wilderness. During my task, Soda got an Ents task, which is great, because Ents are our only source for logs for fire making, fletching, and construction. So to start off, since it's multi-combat, we just took turns flinching the Ents until we found a better method. This ended up having the time it took Soda to kill an Ent from 10 minutes to around 5 minutes. We figured out the new method when we realized we could both get in 3 attacks before the Ent changed targets, so we repeated this and made it much faster. I helped Soda out with about 15 Ents and then he finished his task. I then finished up my Zombies task, not getting any significant loot. I went back to Crystillia and then got a Dark Warriors task, which was another good wilderness task for me to do. Before I started the task, I got a Maze Random from the Mysterious Old Man. And something people might not know is when you're in the maze, you can actually unlock the chests and get various items from them. So I did that and then completed the maze and got some decent loot. Also, the quantity of items you receive as rewards at the end also scales off your total level. So as time progresses, I'll start getting more and more loot from it. Dr. Jackal paid me a visit during my Dark Warriors task and gave me a protein shake. Soda continued to be the champion of the group and got me an Addy Medhome, Steel Boots, a Gold Necklace, and a Staff of Fire. I had enough bones to unlock Rapid Heal at 22 Prayer, so I headed on over to the Chaos Altar, unlocked that, but had some left over, so I kept going until I got 26 Prayer. Alright, there's Rapid Heal unlocked, and that makes 25 Prayer. Alright, alright, I know, get back to task. Okay, so I then finally got my first Laurent's Key, but I'm gonna hold off on opening it until I get one more. I then hit Slayer level 30, and then I completed the task. On my way back to the Enclave, I got a Sandwich Lady random event, and I got my first fucking chocolate bar, which is awesome. Why is it awesome? Well, because the Sandwich Lady is the only way for us to get chocolate bars, and they're needed for both Plague City and Skippy and the Mogers mini quests. Alright, so Sugar Rush aside, I go back to Crystalia and get a Bandit's task, which I do start, but it's actually pretty tough considering that the 130s are fucking with you the whole time, so I went back to Turiel. Got worlds from Turiel, and then went back to Crystalia and got Greater Demons, so went back to Turiel and got Cave Crawlers again, but luckily it went a lot smoother this time. Finished up the Cave Crawlers task, and then went back to Crystalia and got a Skeletons task, and then on the second to last kill from Skeletons I got my second Laurent's key. So, like I said earlier, time to go cash these in. Are you shitting my dick? So, first key was kind of a fucking bust, but uh, let's see if we get lucky on the second. Fucking spun too. Royal Shaft aside, I finished off 45 strength at Skeleton since I was so close. Got Moss Giants as my next task and had a couple visitors. So yeah, not really sure what he was doing there. Sorry. So anyway, I got a magic staff from a Moss Giant which would allow me to auto cast spells. Soda got me two more upgrades being the Black Warhammer and Mithril Shield which actually increased my max hit to 8. Rick Turpentine hooked me up with some cheddar. Hit 40 hit points. Moss Giants were being a bitch kitty, so Soda lent me his rune dagger. But I had to get 40 attack first, so I trained at Sand Crabs. Alright, there's 40 attack. 
Captain Arnav lent me some booty. Then I grabbed the rune dagger and headed back to Moss Giants. I got my first Mossy Key, which eventually I'll be able to fight Briofita. I then hit 35 Slayer, and then got my first Longbone all in the same kill, which is pretty cool. After a very, very long time, I finally finished the Mox Giants task and headed back to Cresselia. Cresselia gave me Black's Demons as my next task, which was a super no-go, so I headed over to Turio, and then he gave me Goblins as my next task, which was good because I still need Goblin Armor for Goblin Diplomacy. Got bandits for the second time, so I swiped left on that, went to Terrio, and then I got dwarves and had an idea that I could do chaos dwarves in the wilderness. Chaos dwarves drop cheese at a rate of 1 in 128, which is needed for Witch's House, so I gave it a shot. I thought chaos dwarves shouldn't be too bad. So on the way back to the Enclave, I got a beekeeper random event and sadly got little eggs instead of flax. So after my first Chaos Dwarf kill, I ended up getting a Muddy Key, which is kind of cool. Kyle thought it would be funny to tease me with a whopping 80 fucking coins. You naughty naughty, you teasing me, you naughty naughty. Mid Chaos Dwarf kill, I got a Genie random, so I had to run back to the Enclave to be able to use that. So like last time, we're gonna throw that onto Hunter, and then we're gonna head back to the Dwarves. With the Dwarf task complete, we get Lesser Demons as our next task, which we'll start doing once we get Protect from Melee. But for now, back to Turio which we got birds from, and so I thought this would be a good time to start leveling up magic. So we hit five magic, and then we ended off with seven as our last cast. After the birds task, I headed back to Crystalia, who gave me an Anku task, and I didn't really feel like doing that, so I went back to Turio, who gave me skeletons. So I did those in the wilderness, headed back to Crystalia, who gave me chaos druids, and that sparked an idea. I had enough bones saved up in the bank for 37 prayer, which would unlock protect from magic, and then I could do Elder Chaos Druids. So I headed back to the Chaos Altar and slowly worked up to 37 prayer. All right, there it is. With Protect from Magic unlocked, it was finally time to take on the Elder Chaos Druids. Now that I know I can kill Elder Chaos Druids, I think I'm going to end the episode off there, so I'll see you in the summary screen. So in summary for this episode, we went from total level 219 to 310, gaining 91 total levels. Then for our equipment, we upgraded our helmet, weapon, and boot slot from a Slayer Helm to Addy Square Helm, a Mithril Sword to a Rune Dagger, and Bronze to Steel Boots. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you have any questions or thoughts, leave it down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to reply. As always, check out Soda's channel for his episode 3 coming out, and if you want to talk to us, you can either join the Discord link in the description, or you can join the chat channel Scape Slayer in-game. With all that being said, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next episode.